throughout the course of humanity, God has always made a way for his people to be delivered from the bondages that seek to hold them captive. In the 21st century, the Almighty Father still gives those who trust him a path to deliverance. But what is deliverance? Deliverance, simply put, is victory. Today, on day 83 of our 100 days of prayer, we will be looking on deliverance in Jesus. Join me for the next few minutes as we reflect on God's word and leverage the power of prayer. Ben Franklin, nearing the end of his life in 1790, said, Our new constitution is now established. Everything seems to promise it will be durable. But in this world, nothing is certain except death and taxes. I would disagree with Mr. Franklin, as there is one more thing that is certain in this world. Temptation is certain. It's a universal problem. Every person in the world has experienced it, including Jesus Christ himself. I probably don't have to tell you, but we are in a spiritual war. It's a matter of life and death. We have a very real enemy who despises Jesus, despises those of us who belong to Jesus, and wants to devastate our lives in any way that he can. He wants to stop our worship of the Lord, stop the spread of the gospel, and stop our spiritual growth, and he'll stop at nothing to do those things. God's got a plan for your life, and Satan does too. We know that God does not tempt us in any way to sin, and we also know that he allows times of trials and testings to come into our lives and that we should even welcome those times as opportunities for us to grow deeper in our faith. So why did Jesus say in Psalms 50 verse 15 to call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. He said this to remind us that we have access to the highest authority in our times of need, moral, physical, emotional, or spiritual. In crisis times or times of trouble, we may supplicate to God and are given the assurance and certainty that He will respond. Many times when we find ourselves in a tough trial or a time of testing, instead of trusting in the Lord to help us, we take matters into our own hands and end up falling into sin as we try to get out of the painful situation. This is why we need to cry out to the Lord to deliver us from our trials, to draw us out of those dangerous situations before we fall into Satan's traps and into sin. God is faithful to make sure that you never go through temptation and that it is never too much for you to handle. God delivers us by providing a way out, a divine escape hatch. When we trust in ourselves, we think we are smart enough, we are strong enough, we are good enough. But only God is able to deliver us from evil and the evil one. And that's why Jesus taught us to cry out to him for our deliverance. So. Saturate your mind in His Word, surround yourself with His people, and submit your life to His Spirit and watch Him deliver you in times of trouble. Join me in prayer as we pray that we will continue to look to God in faith, trusting Him with the uncertainties of our future, knowing that He is in control. Let us pray that we will trust God's Word even when circumstances around us seem discouraging and dark. And let us pray for all our immediate and extended family members. Let us pray. Dear kind and compassionate Father, Lord, you know that we are living in a world filled with sin, Lord, and the dark times are upon us. Help us to turn to you, our true light source, to give us light in these dark times, Lord. Help us to turn to you when things seem dreary and we don't know what to do, because we know that you will deliver us from all our bondage, Lord, dear Jesus. Lord, you know that Satan is attacking us every single day of our lives, dear Jesus, and the temptations are coming on strong. But help us to know that when we go through these temptations, it will prove to us that our faith in you is indeed strong and that you are the one true God. Lord, you know the struggles we face day after day, Lord, and we come before you today, placing them at the foot of the cross. Lord, please be with our family members, our extended and immediate family, that they may know that you are the one true God, and even when they are in times of trouble, they can turn to you and you will deliver them no matter what. Thank you for your many blessings, your mercies, and your kindness. This is my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. We know you have been blessed by this series and we want to hear from you. 
Let us know by sharing a recorded video or a message with us by email at church at gmail.com or by WhatsApp at 876-362-6787. Until next time, be blessed and be a blessing. Bye!